If you see some kids playing down the street, mind your business, keep going, Karen. Who is Karen? Ooh. Karen. The white lady in every department store that's just upset about something. Middle age, middle class. Nosy. She has a short pixie cut. I want to meet the manager haircut. I was scared that my haircut was almost like a Karen. No. Okay, good. I just wanted to check because I was like, wait a minute, shit. Karen is every supervisor that I've ever had. Obnoxious. Self-righteous. My neighbor. Karen's always in the way. Don't see me standing in line, slamming doors into people's faces. Always slamming the elevator on you. Yeah. Yeah, you know she sees you coming. <laughs> no, Karen. That's why you're getting blasted all over the world because people tired of that shit. I was selling a pottery wheel recently, this is a tangent, and a Karen messaged me. Not a Karen, just a woman named Karen. And as soon as I saw her name, I was like, nope, you are not the one. Karen is trying to make me get fired from a job I'm not even employed at. Karen's that bitch I do not want to fuck with. <laughs> Karen always thinks she's right. She doesn't know as much as she thinks she knows. Karen is mad for no reason. Thinks that they could impose their will on people. I would define a Karen as somebody who just does the most. I work in the food and beverage industry and we deal with a lot of Karens. If you don't get that skim mocha latte just right. I asked you for eight napkins. I worked in retail. I've met her many times. I've met her son, Cody, her daughter, Kaylee. I know all those people. Can you do an impression of uh, Karen? <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me, waiter. I ordered four chicken nuggets. They don't have almond milk and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have back problems. Not being able to go to the salon is infringing upon my civil liberties. <laughs> oh my God, I feel threatened. I could do the same shit. I'm going to jail. I tried that shit. This shit don't work with black women. Who is Karen? Karen is every white woman that has called me aggressive, sassy, or thought that I was threatening just because I spoke my mind. They're the people that cause an accident but yell at you because they went through the stoplight. I guess this girl behind me was in a rush. She's like, slamming the horn. She speeds around me. Did we come to the same light? <laughs> like, really? The other day, with swimming, you know, we're keeping our social distance and there were children who were not and we lightly asked them to, hey, can you maintain the distance? And they called us Karens. And I was just like, okay, I know I'm light, but I ain't that light. This is actually really funny because I know so many black women named Karen. I have hated that we chose the word Karen because of this castmate I had. And she's so not what we call a Karen. I don't like calling someone Karen. I like to call out the behavior. Acting a fool over like not getting like fucking 15 cents off from a coupon from like 2005. That's a Karen. If someone is in St. Louis pointing a gun at protesters, that's not a fucking Karen. That's a domestic terrorist. Until a few months ago, Karen was wasn't even on my radar. Karen? Who, who you mean Karen? It's like, oh, you mean Miss Ann. Karen is the new Miss Ann. Karen is Mr. Charlie's wife or daughter. It's like an old plantation mistress. Karen is angry. Hateful. Loony. Racist. Problematic. In your face. That's Karen. I always got something to say. Karen is gonna be the woman who grabs her purse when you enter the aisle at Target because she feels like you're gonna steal from her. Every black people is not trying to rob or kill you. Who is Karen? Mm, you just took the smile right off my face. She just hates. She's like the winner of the player haters ball 30 years running can't stand to see black folk being more free than she is. Who likes to put black people in danger. There's a spectrum. At the far end, the annoying as fuck Karen that we all know. Then you have like the murderous Karen. She calls law enforcement. Whether that's you walking your own dog or watering your grass, we call them police. Police will respond to white women being threatened because you've got to protect the people who are going to produce white children and raise white children and uphold white values. Karen's cry. Literal tears. They have it as a weapon that they can utilize whenever they feel threatened. It actually can result in my death. Who is Karen? Who is Karen? Karen is who got Emmett Till killed. Amy Cooper, my heart ripped that weekend that I saw that video of her in Central Park. Her incident happened on Saturday, and then George Floyd was murdered on Monday. What is whiteness? The yardstick which all people of color and all black people are measured against. Pure privilege. It's not having to think about your own whiteness. You just walk into a place and you just are. People will automatically give you a pass. Why people automatically get the benefit of the doubt? I was at a training recently. They were really explaining whiteness as a culture and is not a bad thing. As this white guy's telling me what whiteness is, I was had to check myself and I was like, that's not what I believe. Am I wrong? And then I was like, mm. 
no. <laughs> Throughout history, they were sterilizing black people. But you shouldn't be allowed to wear a mask. Don't regulate my body. Don't regulate my body. Sorry, okay. I got a little, whoo. No, no. <laughs> you got me going there. You got there. any more you want to get out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Has anybody ever said you act too white? Yeah. Because my parents instill proper English. The way that I sound or the way that I speak. We have to speak like this eloquently and use big words instead of our natural vernacular. What is whiteness? There's this blur between whiteness and professionalism. So I used to think whiteness was like superior. Supposed to be better than blackness? There are black people who identify as white people or identify with the ideologies, make them think that they're superior. What is whiteness to you? Oof. Whatever is in the best interest of the white men in power. The most dangerous weapon on the planet. The ticket to being able to call yourself American. And its negative connotation is anything that is going to be disruptive to another person who is not white and anything that is going to hold down and oppress those people. For me, whiteness is a cancer. They infected me. I allowed myself to be infected. This is the light. Come on, all you brown folks, come on. Even the ones that say that they're white, get a clue. Come on back and let's do this thing. Who is Karen? Everyone has the potential to be racist or every white person. I think Karen is every white woman and they need to fight against their Karen tendencies. Karen is scared. Uncomfortable. Super cautious. People that just try to suppress black excellence. Karen is the white woman lurking in all the shadows. I mean, there's so many Karens. They're all Karens. All of them. Don't think Karen's just a woman. I don't like when white people use it. You don't get to try to separate yourself. Make it stop. Then we can talk. So who is Karen? <laughs> Somebody that has too much time on their hands. She needs a light, maybe some dick or pussy, I don't know what she does, and a good ass whooping. <laughs>